Hello everyone and welcome to So Many Games in Real Time. My name is Joachim and today we're going to be reboxing Age of Comics, the Golden Years, the Collector's Edition. So, first of all, on top I've got the uh, manual and then everything else, the expansions and everything uh, are below it, right? This is all the easy stuff. And then you've got the board, very simple, right? Then you've got the player boards, also very simple. It's only after that that it gets a little bit more complicated because you have all those empty spots normally. Now, because I have the animal pieces, the metal pieces and everything, I put them here. First of all, all the pair pieces are here, right? And then you can easily take that out as well. As you can see, that's fine. Then here I've got all the uh, points. Well, let me use the correct term, the victory point tokens. Um, here I've got a combination. I have the uh, better color tokens, but also the uh, war expansion. Because in the war expansion you have, let me just show you, in the world expansion, you have a couple of uh, icons. I guess it's here. Yeah, you have the war idea tokens and the order tiles. Uh, I put them here underneath the color ones. So, because they might not be used. Actually, later on, probably I'm gonna put them separately in this baggie, so it's easier to take it out. Here are the metal coins, as you can see, the one, two, five, and 10, but the regular coins can also go there. Here are the increased value tokens. They're double-sided. Even though you see three, three, they're double-sided. So one side is two, the other one is three. Um, we have the, the, the different types as well. Um, then next to them, I have always two types of the sales order tiles. So here, for example, are actually three types. I have the um, UFOs, but underneath, I also have the guns and I also have the zombies, okay? Uh, so I guess it's uh, horror and crime and sci-fi that are together because you take them out when you play anyway. So these are the boots and underneath is also the superheroes and the romance. Here are once again the war comics. Those are, I put those here. These three sets are all the original comic books. The uh, So 24 of them. Okay, so it's 888. And here are the are all the ripoff cards together. All right, so also 888. So they're just separate. Once again, they'll also be removed when you play. Um, here, then this, the round tokens. These are the idea tokens, right? The idea tokens, uh, one place for each. There should be six. So one for sci-fi, crime, romance, horror, superheroes, and Western. These ones are the multicolored uh, fan tokens. Uh, what is the correct name again? Um, I guess it's something like that. I can't immediately see it here. Ah, oh, the hype tokens. The hype tokens are all here. And um, yeah, here is very, very simple. You put this on one side. It doesn't matter which one. It can go here, it can go there. And then for the rest here, you have basically all the cards. I separated just into two stacks. Um, underneath here are the uh, calendar tiles. Right, they are here, all of them. They fit nicely in that spot. And next to them are the uh, tickets, the super transport tickets. They are there. Okay, so then you just put um, any combination. Oh, okay, you just slide out here. Any combination of cards you put on top of it uh, that will fit nicely. Here, once again, combination of cards. Underneath it, you do have a smaller slot for cards. And those, uh, that's where these cards go, the objective cards uh, with this back, okay? So that's how I did it. Um, I do believe that they will have an official um, way of putting stuff in different places. Uh, we'll check that then later as well. But at the moment of filming, there was nothing there. Someone did ask on Kickstarter about it, so Potentially there's already an answer. If so, I'll put it on the screen in the beginning. <laughs> but this is the way that I did it now. Of course, this can change and uh, up to you if you want to follow how I did it or follow how they did it. Um, 
Yeah.